Greetings everybody, Okanyu Games Online. Welcome back to more Persona 5. Last time, we made it through the incredibly dark House of Darkness. Where we did get some coins, but not enough. And in this episode... Ah, welcome. Will you be participating in our stunning battle arena? Okay. Of course. Our teamwork's gonna take down this arena of yours. Ah, oh, no, that won't do. This is a series of honest one-on-one -on -one battles. So that means... Correct. Only one can participate. You'll need to choose someone to act as your representative. 10,000 points can be We just got that. See the trials, you'll be granted 10 times that. 100,000 coins. It's enough to get us across that bridge. Come on, we need to do this. How about this? This feels like a trap to me. An amount that high would certainly ensure great danger. The failure to infiltrate this palace would be the end of us. So we don't got a choice. Very well. In that case, Joker should be the one to participate. We don't know what kinds of enemies may appear, so his high level adaptability will be vital here. Leave it to me. Yes. Are you sure about this? You will have to fight alone. That's why Joker's the one doing it, right? I mean, I understand why. So just be careful, okay? Don't do anything reckless in there. Has your mind been made up? The battles will, be be will begin once you enter. Let's do this. Into the ring we go. The entry free the appropriate price total shall be calculated at the end of the game. Prepare to know the true meaning of agony. Like how that sounds. Only you will be able to continue from here onward. We'll be cheering from the stands. So best of luck. Let's throw ourselves into, into the ring. Get into the, the arena. Now then, our gripping battle is finally here. The idiot leader of the adult defying thieves has come. Odds are 1.1 to the house, 23.0 to the phantom thieves. How oh, the phantom thieves are surprisingly popular. It's rare to see odds in the double digits. Now let us begin our serious one on one battle. Bring out the first contestant. What the hell? There's two of them. One-on-one -on -one at all, they're just ignoring the rules right from the beginning. Great. Persona! So, I recall these guys are normally the light. Ow. Persona! Okay. Ooh. Actually, based on how much you did, these guys are gonna be no problem. Yeah, they're doing absolutely nothing to us, so I guess it's not a big deal to me. The first battle is already done. There's still two more to go. Well, we can't take a hit. It's a little hard to say that I'm just gonna call him the Phantom to be from now on. All you betting on the house, do not fret. Second round of contestants is arriving now. What did you say? Even more than before. Well, lovely. Quiet down the peanut gallery. Now it's time to die in this blood curling battle. Great! Persona! So let's go for our Moth Freyla. Okay! Cool. So there's gonna be what? Five enemies next? Oh, and we level up. With this power. Bullshit. 
Why the hell aren't you dying, you goddamn phantom to leave? I have a bet on this, too. Ugh. There's no way in hell you're getting away with this. Time for our final contestant. It can't be. What in the... Yelza, that's a big one. Go, grind his bones to dust. Let the extreme third battle begin. Well, at least now it is one-on-one. -on -one. What I can say for prior matches. So, you look like someone who is specialized in electricity. So that's the Horus's area of expertise. Oh, charge. This one! Defense up! Convenient. Persona! Okay. Do we have someone who resists physical then? I wanna switch you, but we zero. Okay, no, we're not. Hold on. Don't rush. We'll just guard for now. Guard a little bit more. Oh. Okay. That was nothing. You're mine. That's great. So based on last time, defense is back to some other way. So you'll take a turn to charge. Oh. Yeah, I blocked that. Persona. Thank you very much. You're mine. This hurts. Now a charge. Super move. Ultra charge. Ooh, we're charged Let's and go. focused. Yeah. Which means you are Fubard. Once again, justice prevails. The pail will be handed out over after this. Please wait. Congratulations, here is your reward. 100,000 coins. For real? Oh shit! It was freaking amazing, Joker. You are incredible. They never even planned on giving you a fair fight in there. Yes, I expected that would be the case. Our other trials have been rigged as well, after all. So you sent Joker in knowing the full well of the possible dangers? I simply had faith in his skill. And to be honest, there was no other course of action available. Come now. We should head to the bridge. It shall be our moment to shine. And so, we shall. That's the right way, right? Oh, yeah, we have to leave the battle arena first. Well, I would like to see what our other prize options are. We probably won't grab any, but we can see if there's anything worth... Actually... Grab those. Do we have enough for the other item? Nope, that would just put us just barely under, so... We'll be passing on that. Let's pay up. We earned this more than fair and square. Authenticating member's card. The required number of coins to activate the Bridge of Judgment is 100,000 coins. <laughs> we got that. Now let us through. Seems you worked hard to gather that many coins. I never expected you would make it this far. I commend you on your vigorous efforts. However, you will never proceed to the manager's floor ahead. From this moment forward, the number of coins for the bridge will increase to one million coins. What? That's not fair! You can't give us an impossible task like that. Ah, you finally understand? That is the point. Your task will forever be impossible. 
Hence, I will emerge victorious. This is horrible! You've only just barely gotten 100,000 coins as well. You said she would let us through if we had 1 million coins, yes? In that case, there won't be a problem. What? You know how to win that many? Not exactly. I already have the requisite coins right here. What? How could that be? Do you remember what we were told at the very beginning? Essentially, we could borrow as many coins from the casino as we already held on our card. Well, yes, but... Do you have a moment? For example, had we borrowed the max, when we had 10,000 coins, we would have ended up with 20,000. And had we then bet on Joker at the Coliseum as a guest, our total would have grown to 460,000. Yes, but you're speaking purely in hypo hypotheticals. It's not what actually happened. Hmm. Correct. On Joker's card. However, that is not the only card in our possession. You have another card? That's... That's the Taro Tanaka card I told you to get rid of. Exactly. Instead of disposing of it, I should used it to gather coins and to outsmart the system. Superb! So we would, would have over 500,000 if we add all our coins together. Still clearly not close to the required total. Actually, once my account reached 460,000, I borrowed the maximum amount a second time. That means... After paying back the original 10,000, I was left with 910,000. Adding Joker's total to that brings us to 1,010,000 coins. We can surely cross the bridge now. Whoa! Wait, if we borrowed all them coins... Is there a problem? The manager's room lies ahead. We won't need to worry about coins after this. Or did you honestly intend on paying back such a large sum? Impossible. This can't be! Bro, it's actually a little frightening how sharp you are. I'll take that as a compliment. I'm glad I was able to contribute to our fans of these efforts. Very well. Now, let us go. We should hurry and let the bridge down before she decides to change the rules once again. Do so quickly. You already outweigh them with that one million coins. Don't need another instance of this. Let's activate the Bridge of Judgment. And unsurprisingly, it's a weight puzzle. Yeah, not quite. Almost there. You better be ready for whatever lies ahead. Oh, we will. We will be ultra prepared for whatever lies ahead. There's the treasure. It looks like this is her base of operations. Perhaps her treasure will appear on that pedestal. A lot has happened, but we managed to get up here. Miss Manager's days are numbered. How on earth you just simply barge in? Infiltration route is secure. We need to head back out and send the calling card. And once the calling card is sent, Sai Sun's treasure will appear, correct? Yeah. Once the target is cognizant of the danger, that cloudy thing will take shape. I wonder, what will the treasure look like? That depends on the person. For Kamoshida, it was a medal. Madarame's was a painting, and Kaneshiro's was fake money. 
father's was a plastic model. In other words, the treasure is what marked the beginning of the palace ruler's aspirations. Could also be what caused their desires to swell. Thinking about it won't get us anywhere, though. Let's head back and prepare the calling card. Do security infiltration route. This actually wasn't that long of a dungeon. Hmm? What's up? You curious about the treasure? Speaking of that, this actually looks like there's a shape formed in the haziness. If I had to guess, I'd say Sissy's treasure's a police notebook. Right, your father was... She probably thinks Dad died because the police were using him. That's why she believes justice is means, and that there's no point living a subservient life. Dad's death is even the reason she aspired to become a prosecutor and grew so obsessed with winning. She really loved him. Saya-san's heart must be exhausted from living such a fiercely competitive world. Honest beliefs alone are not enough to get you through. Even I understand that pain. But that is exactly why we need to change your heart. Yes, you're right. And now we've ascertained the location of the treasure for the back goal. Would you like to return to the entrance now, Joker? Let's head back. Okay. We'll be able to send the calling card for the real world now. We're done here, so we have to take on Sai's shadow. It's time to go back to the real world. Finally secured our route to the treasure. All we need to do now is send the calling card. I see. So this is how you go about arranging your operations. It feels as though I now have a much better understanding of why you have been so successful. Ah, you're back. We finally made it. All that remains is to actually send the calling card. Looks like we'll manage to get it out before that investigation starts going down too. We still don't know anything about the true culprit behind the mental shutdowns though. I wonder if we'll learn anything from Nijima-san's shadow. I doubt she has ascertained any relevant clues. I agree. That is why she has the warrants out on the Phantom Thieves after all. Furthermore, the public believes arresting us will solve the case. The public prosecutors won't stop now. They have the weight of the general public on their shoulders. If only we knew who the true culprit was, we wouldn't have to fight Nijima-san's shadow. Who could it be? Do you think it's someone we know? It's a possibility. I don't want to think that, but it's a possibility. True. But there would be no end to the mistrust if we began doubting our peers. Either way, we only have one opportunity to turn the tables. This final calling card shall be my magnum opus. Simply let us know when you're ready, Akira. We still have six days. So let's get a massage, first of all. And we want to still take advantage of those days that we have. With that massage done, I'd say this makes a pretty good stopping point. We made it to size treasure. So all we have to do is send the calling card. Next time on Persona 5, we might be maxing out another bond. See you guys then.